right now, I'm not doing anything that's illegal. This is not illegal. But this, this is illegal in Victoria. Not breaking the law. Breaking the law. Not breaking the law. Still breaking the law. And now I'm not breaking the law. You get the idea. Look, despite e-scooter ownership growing in popularity here in Australia, it's still technically illegal to ride an e-scooter in public places here in the state of Victoria. See, according to the regulations here in Victoria, the state of Victoria in Australia, it's illegal to ride an e-scooter unless you're riding it on your own private property. If you're riding your privately owned e-scooter in a public place, even on a dedicated cycle pedestrian area like this one is here in Melbourne, right now, at the time of recording, technically you are breaking the law. wondering, well, why can you buy a privately owned e-scooter here in Melbourne if technically you're not allowed to legally ride them anywhere in public places? Well, Public Transport Victoria on their website have got an answer to that. High-powered e-scooters can be used on private land, which is why they can be sold by retailers. We acknowledge that some retailers have failed to make it clear to customers that these devices can't be ridden on public roads or footpaths in Victoria. Shame on you retailers for not making it clear. Shame on you. Such a government answer, isn't it? Just gonna leave my boat over there for the minute. I think it should be safe. My question is then, why can't e-scooters be regulated in the same way as bikes are? So treated in exactly the same way. For example, when you ride a bike here in Victoria, you have to wear a helmet. Uh, when you ride a bike in Victoria, you have to ride on a bike lane like I am now, or on a road, you can't ride it on a footpath. And you can't be intoxicated when you're riding a bike. All those laws could probably apply to e-scooters as well, even potentially with the speed limit. I know that some states have limited the speeds of e-scooters to 20 kilometers an hour. That's fine, that's more than fast enough. Why can't we apply the same rules to e-scooters as we have to bikes? This, this is the most accurate map that I could find just to demonstrate this point. If you happen to live in Queensland in Australia, you can legally ride an e-scooter in public streets. If you live in the nation's capital and you like riding your scooter around roundabouts, you can also legally ride your e-scooter in public places. Same for Tasmania and anywhere in the largest state in the country, Western Australia. However, if you ride your e-scooter anywhere in the state of New South Wales, it is not allowed and you can be fined up to 704 Australian dollars. It's also illegal to ride your e-scooter in the Northern Territory, in South Australia, and as we've already established in my home state of Victoria, where if you do ride an e-scooter and you are fined for it, you can be fined up to 909 Australian dollars. If you lived in the ACT and you wanted to ride your e-scooter to Queensland for whatever reason, a territory and a state where it's legal to do that, you couldn't because you can't go through New South Wales. You'd have to put your scooter on a plane and fly it to Queensland, but then the lithium battery would be too big. So Australia, couldn't. please, can we sort this mess out? Can we have one consistent federal law across all states and territories? months ago in Melbourne we were told that they were starting a couple of trials with a few ass ah, with a few oh, Jesus with a few scooter companies two in particular one was called Neuron that's the one I'm on now and the other one Lime which is in a lot of countries around the world the idea of this trial was to see how electric scooters go in a kind of regulated way around the streets of Melbourne we were told that in the new year they would make an announcement on whether the scooter trials that were being held here in Melbourne would actually lead to them either continuing the scooters, so continuing these, or to allow privately owned e-scooters to be ridden around the streets of Melbourne as well. It's early February as I record this, 
and still we've heard nothing about how the trial has gone and whether e-scooters will in fact be allowed around the streets of Melbourne in the future. Also, let it be known that this last sequence cost me $6 because that's the minimum, minimum fee you can pay just to ride an e-scooter and I've been going round and round this roundabout just filming that last bit. $6. I should have spent it on coffee. Thanks. Our trip has ended. See you soon. Perth community is in shock this morning after a father of four was killed in an e-scooter accident. A heartbroken family is pleading for e-scooters to be banned. Heartache banned. at a family home where Mustafa Abu Eid will never return. Now don't get me wrong, there have been some really sad incidents here in Melbourne where people have been involved in an accident, some have lost their lives whilst they were riding an e-scooter. But I don't feel that a few isolated incidents, however sad they are, and my heart goes out to the, the families and the people involved, of course, but a few incidents shouldn't define an entire set of laws for a city moving forwards. Incidents happen and people are injured and sometimes killed on bikes here in Melbourne as well. Again, these sad events happen, but it doesn't mean that we should completely ban bicycles altogether. Car accidents happen. It doesn't mean we should ban cars altogether. And yes, e-scooter technology is new, and I do think there are some people that are abusing it. I will be honest, when you see someone on a really high powered scooter flying down a bike lane at 40 kilometers an hour, that's just ridiculous. And that sort of thing should stop. But some regulation to allow us to be able to ride these devices safely, to take some cars off the road, to give us a new environmentally friendly way to get around the cities we love, surely that's something that we can make happen. Surely we can come up with some rules and regulations that mean everybody can do that safely. I'm not allowed on that boat. The, the problem for me then really with e-scooters here in Melbourne is the fact that, well, we just don't allow them. It's a bit of technology that I think we should and I think we can easily regulate it under the laws that we currently already have in place for bikes. So come on, Melbourne, you're a progressive city. I love you to bits, but let's just make this happen. Maybe I can get on that one.